Hi guys, I'm Daniel with MCH Australia Keg King, and today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about the snub nose fermentosaurus. <laughs> So the snub nose fermentosaurus is essentially the same tank as the 35 liter fermentosaurus. What's different is that there's no hole at the bottom of it for us to be able to connect the extra 22 centimeters that is in the dump valve and the collection bottle. So you save a lot of space by having this without a hole in it and having the rack upside down, which gives you a lot better stability when you're actually trying to hold onto this vessel. So what we like about it is that it has a floating dip tube. So this has been throwing a lot of people because when we initially said that we're coming out with this as a, as a new product, people are like, hey, there's no dump valve on it. Well, you don't actually need the dump valve if you're not gonna be collecting your yeast. But if you want to, you still can with this thing. So with the snub nose, we've removed some of that height by not providing a dump valve. What? Now a lot of people are shocked by this, but there's no need to worry about it because it comes with a floating dip tube that you can see inside this model here. Every single snub nose fermentosaurus comes with the pressure lid. So this makes like transferring under pressure real easy. I and mean, even better than that, you're leaving behind the sediment that you don't want to take out. So with the snub nose fermenter, we are actually able to take off 22 centimeters and in a much sturdier design with it, facing in the rack this way, we can get it to fit in a Series 4 fridge. So it's a temperature controlled environment. You can finish with carbonated beer, and then what you do with that beer is completely up to you. If this is cold, you can just hook it up to the disconnect and start serving off of your tap system. But if you'd like to do more stuff with it, I can show you a few cool things that you can do when you have two of these things, because they make transferring a dream. So pressure transferring, with an anaerobic conditions into sanitary vessels is fantastic for long storage of your beer. And I'm going to show you how to do some of that next. So stay tuned. Mm -hmm. 